Psalm chapter 151 is a short psalm found in most copies of the Septuagint but not in the Masoretic text of the Hebrew Bible. The title given to this psalm in the Septuagint indicates that it is supernumerary, and no number is affixed to it. This psalm is ascribed to David and is outside the number. When he slew Goliath in single combat. It is also included in some manuscripts of the Peshitta. The psalm concerns the story of David and Goliath. The Eastern Orthodox Church as well as the Coptic Orthodox Church, Armenian Apostolic Church and the Armenian Catholic Church accept Psalm chapter 151 as canonical. Roman Catholics, Protestants, and most Jews consider it apocryphal. However, it is found in an appendix in some Catholic Bibles, such as certain editions of the Latin Vulgate, as well as in some ecumenical translations, such as the New Revised Standard Version. Psalm chapter 151 is cited once in the extraordinary form of the Roman breviary, as a responsory of the series from the Books of Kings, the second in the Roman breviary, together with 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 37 in a slightly different text from the Vulgate. <laughs> Dead Sea Scrolls discovery for many years scholars believed that Psalm chapter 151 might have been an original Greek composition and that there is no evidence that Psalm chapter 151 ever existed in Hebrew. However, Psalm chapter 151 appears along with several canonical and non-canonical psalms in the Dead Sea Scroll 11 QPs a, named also 11Q5, a 1st century AD scroll discovered in 1956. The Adidio Princeps of this manuscript was first published in 1963 by J. A. Sanders. This scroll contains two short Hebrew psalms which scholars now agree served as the basis for Psalm chapter 151. One of these Hebrew psalms, known as Psalm 151a, is reflected in verses 1 to 5 of the Greek Psalm chapter 151, while verses 6 onward are derived from the other Hebrew psalm, known as Psalm 151b, which is only partially preserved. The composer of the Greek psalm has brought the two Hebrew psalms together in a manner that significantly changes their meaning and structure, but the influence of the Hebrew originals is still readily apparent. In some ways the Greek version of Psalm chapter 151 does not seem to make good sense, and the Hebrew text provides a basis for a better understanding of what transpired in the creation of the Greek version. In comparison to the Hebrew text Sanders regards the Greek text of this psalm to be in places desiccated, meaningless, truncated, ridiculous, absurd, jumbled, and disappointingly different, all this the result of its having been made from a truncated amalgamation of the two Hebrew psalms. On details of translation, structure, and meaning of this psalm see especially the works of Skaian, Brownlee, Carmignac, Strugnell, Rabinowitz, Dupont Summer, and Flint. Content Topic. The title of the psalm states that it was written by David after his battle with Goliath. The psalm assumes familiarity with and draws ideas and phraseology from elsewhere in the Bible. Topic. Armenian liturgy Topic. Psalm chapter 151 is recited each day at Matins in the Armenian Church in a sequence of biblical poetic material which includes canticles from the Old and New Testaments, Psalms 51, 148-150, to and 113 numbering according to the Septuagint. The Armenian version of Psalm chapter 151 is close to the Septuagint, with some variation. Where verse 2 in Greek reads Hi Cheres mo epoisan organon hoi dactyloi mo erison salterian. My hands made an instrument, my fingers fashioned the lyre. The Armenian has, jerk I'm ararin zamasarans eu matink I'm kazmesin zagorchi ornutian my hands made the lyres Armenian zamasarans can also mean, psalm books, psalters, and my fingers fashioned the instrument of blessing. A second notable departure of the Armenian is verse 6. The Greek has kai epikaterasato mi en twa edelwa howto. And he cursed me through his idols. The Armenian reads Eu Nizavechi Skurs Nora, and I cursed his idols. Topic. English translations. Topic. 
Besides being available in orthodox or ecumenical editions of modern translations since 1977 Revised Standard Version, New Revised Standard Version, English Standard Version, Orthodox Study Bible, Contemporary English Version, Common English Bible, there are a number of English translations now in the public domain. William Whiston included it in his authentic records. It can be found in the LXX translations of Charles Thompson and Lancelot Charles Lee Brenton, and Adam Clark. S commentary. It is included in Sabine Bering Gould's Legends of the Patriarchs and Prophets, William Digby Seymour's Hebrew Psalter, and William Ralph Churton's Uncanonical and Apocryphal Scriptures. William Wright Orientalist published a translation of the Syriac in the Proceedings of the Society of Biblical Archaeology, June 1887, and A. A. Brockway published a translation from the Coptic in the January 27, 1898 New York Times. Topic. Cultural influence Topic. At the beginning of his first address to his Council of State, Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia recited this psalm in total, the TV show, "'Touched by an Angel, Season 5, Episode 9' originally aired 15 November 1998' is titled, Psalm Chapter 151' with a song sung by Winona Judd called, "'Testify to Love' In the episode she composes the song for her dying son. In 1993, Pater Iotvos composed Psalm Chapter 151 in Memoriam Frank Zappa for solo or four percussionists, Christian rock band Jacob. S. Trouble wrapped up their 1989 door into summer LP with track 11, Psalm Chapter 151. Rock artist Ezra Furman included a self pen song entitled Psalm Chapter 151 on his 2018 LP Transangelic Exodus, although admitting later he was unaware of Psalm Chapter 151's existence. References Topic. Topic. Citations. Topic. Topic. Works cited. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Psalm Chapter 151 NRSV Psalm Chapter 151 Net Bible Psalm Chapter 151 Text in English at Athanasius.com Psalm Chapter 151 English Text from St. Takla Coptic Church Psalm Chapter 151 Arabic Text, also from St. Takla Psalm Chapter 151 Verse 2013 Critical Translation with Audio Drama at Biblicalaudio